Ladies and gents, it's your friend neighborhood content creator. I wanted to talk about a little bit of a interesting topic that I've been thinking about for a little bit now. I'm talking about Gene. Gene and Grandmaster Varka. Now, Grandmaster Varka is the Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, as it says on his title. But Jean has been the acting Grandmaster for a while now. And she's been an acting Grandmaster for a year and a half according to Genshin Game Time. But I'm not quite sure how long it's been. I'm, I don't think I know that lore <laughs> that much to tell you. But a lot of these characters have been mentioning Grandmaster Varka over and over. But we've yet to see him in the game. We haven't really seen much mentions of him until maybe you just read the voiceovers that you get from the characters for example gene talks a little bit fondly about grandmaster varka if we go down here and we read a little bit about him grandmaster varka is the legend of his generation on the day of his triumphant return i shall be sure to personally introduce you to him i'm sure you too will be in awe of his greatness as you can see, she really talks about how great he is of an individual and how great he is of a grandmaster, a legend, actually. So hopefully, maybe since, you know, it's like Monsat and Region of Wind, maybe Grandmaster Varka is also an animal character. And if he is, I am so down to play him. I love animal characters. Xiao, Jean, Venti, um, Sucrose, Kazaha, I love them all. I, I don't know why, but I have something for animal characters that I really like playing with them. The mo I don't know if it's the mobility, the actual element itself. I'm not really quite sure, but the element is awesome. And I really hope Grandmaster Varka, whenever he does get released, if he ever gets released, I hope he is animal. And a lot of these characters also mention him every I think every member of the Knights of Favonius, if I'm not wrong by that. I'm pretty sure Eula also mentions Grandmaster Varka, but a little bit differently. The Grandmaster. He doesn't like to beat around the bush and has no care for rumors or trivial matters. A good guy, I guess. I sparred with him once, which ended in a tie. But his relaxed expression and leisurely attitude clearly indicated that he had been holding back the whole time. <sighs> Such indignity. I will not let it go. As you can see, they really talk like they're friends or like they know the Grandmaster very well. And it also seems like the Grandmaster is super powerful. And if they make a character that's, you know, stronger than Eula, it's going to be an interesting time, especially if they are an animal character. And I cannot wait to see what Genshin Impact does with him. Hopefully he does have some sort of mobility and not just, you know, some sort of, you know, ability, maybe like genes. Maybe a little bit of something that makes a little extra. And maybe also his actual, you know, persona or whatever m might sort of fit that of Arataki Ito. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's like the Chad of Genshin Impact. I'm not really quite sure. It's all speculation from me. All we can do now is read a little bit more about him or hear the voiceovers from any of the Knights of Favonius members something i find interesting as well is that tartaglia speaks about the grandmaster varka which is very interesting to me because he also talks about saritza but the grandmaster varka has also been talking about, or like he talks about him as well so huh. varka just the thought of one day going head to head with him in combat the fabled knight of boreas himself titan of the knights of favonius it makes me buzz with excitement it's a beautiful life we live in this world. That's super interesting to me how he says he's the fabled knight of Boreas. As we all know, Boreas is the wolf or, you know, the wolf of the north that we, you know, battle and are, you know, we know him pretty well. We fought him a bunch of times and we know him as the, the wolf of the north. Now, the thing is with that is now we sort of have an idea of maybe what element he has. Because he is the fabled knight of Boreas, perhaps he is in fact an animal character. And I feel like that's also a pretty nice thing to think about. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would be I'll read all of them if there are any comments. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. What kind of speculations you guys have for the Grandmaster. Obviously, I'm sure there is more lore about him. I just don't know myself. And yeah, hopefully we see a playable character of him soon. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking this video as well. Subscribing to the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.
Bye-bye.